Hello, you're listening to Ray Path Productions here on A1R Psychic Radio and Moonstruck TV. I'm your host, Chloe Fall and Clairvoyant. As always, I would like to send a soul to soul blessing to everybody who is tuning into the broadcast live. And I would very much like to extend that soul to soul blessing to everybody who will be catching the show after the live broadcast. Once again, the support is very appreciated. And if you do enjoy the show, please do feel free to tell other people about it and tag them in the show and let them know about it. And any any way anyone would like to spread word about the show would be deeply appreciated. Like that it does seem to be really helping people and really helping to keep people informed and explaining a bit better about the type of work that I do. And on that note, Considering this will be my second to last show before maternity leave, I did want to utilize part of the show this evening just to discuss the final workshop that I will be running before I do go on maternity leave. My final workshop is being facilitated on Sunday, November the 3rd at the Sanctuary Center in Loch Ray, where I work. And the workshop will be a Rainbow Bridge Phase 2 Technique workshop. So I just wanted to discuss a little bit about that because that is one of my workshops where there is a prerequisite, meaning there is preliminary work that does need to be done before attending that workshop, even though it is a public and a publicly advertised workshop. For people who do wish to attend, if you do wish to attend my Rainbow Bridge phase two technique workshop, you must be working through the Rainbow Bridge phase one techniques. It's all right if you don't have them finished, but you must be working through the Rainbow Bridge phase one techniques. Or if you've finished the Rainbow Bridge phase one techniques and you've just been utilizing the maintenance phase one technique, you're more than welcome to come if you've finished the Rainbow Bridge phase one techniques and are just using the maintenance technique. People will also be attending who have already started into the Rainbow Bridge phase two techniques, but like to come as a refresher day. So like that, if you already are using the Rainbow Bridge phase two techniques, you are more than welcome to attend or reattend. It's fabulous to have people there that just want to be in the atmosphere again. And because I do teach a lot at that workshop, sometimes people like to refresh the techniques because there is a lot that I teach. And I do teach my Rainbow Bridge Phase 2 techniques in a different format, meaning it's still Josephine and Norman Stevens phase two techniques and I keep it true to how they taught the techniques, what they said about their techniques. So it's a proper Rainbow Bridge workshop. But I also do include information on the heart virtues, development of the heart center pedals, as well as more detailed information about internal and external patterns, because that is what the phase two Rainbow Bridge techniques really do work on. So just to explain that a little bit better about what the Rainbow Bridge Phase 2 techniques are about, I'll just very quickly recap on Rainbow Bridge Phase 1. Rainbow Bridge Phase 1 teaches you how to heal, clear, and widen the central channel in proper stages. Phase 2 of Rainbow Bridge then works on more deeply healing and resolving internal and external patterns and complexes. So it more deeply starts to heal and clear the internal and external vehicles and people find the work quite incredible, even though people find phase one alone amazing for what it does. People really, really, you know, do find phase two just mind blowing with what it does for relieving emotional and mental wounds, for helping to heal emotional and mental complexes that might have been struggled with for a couple of years. It really does do what it says on the tin. And the other point I like to make about my phase two Rainbow Bridge workshop is usually by the time someone has properly finished phase one of the Rainbow Bridge techniques, they do get properly built to their soul star. 
And when someone then starts properly into phase two of the rainbow bridge techniques, it starts to weave the first portion of the service thread that links someone to the triad energy center, which is above the soul star. And that thread does exactly what it says on the tin. It attracts in circumstances and situations and synchronicities that are more authentic to one's service in life. So it would relate to all work queries. What should I be doing with myself? What is my purpose? What should I be doing with myself in terms of my work and my service? What's my calling? You cannot buy what the service thread does. When that service thread starts to weave, when some proper decent Rainbow Bridge Phase 2 work is done, the minute that thread starts to weave, it starts to trigger an opening of the mental plane petals and the heart center, and it will start to attract in circumstances that are more authentic to the work that you should be doing in life. So even though, of course, there are people out there that aren't building to their triad that still you know, do find work that's good for them and work that suits them and still carve out happy lives for themselves. The difference between someone who doesn't have their service thread trying to make their career work long term and someone who has their service thread working with their career, there is a very noticeable difference even to someone who can't see that the service thread is responsible for that difference. So it's where the work really starts to get interesting. Phase one of the rainbow bridge techniques helps to heal and clear the vehicles to the point where someone really lifts out of getting involved in control dramas or being controlled by control dramas. And phase two really works on bringing in that service thread and weaving the first portion of that service thread to really grow and evolve you know, answering all those queries. What should I be doing in life? What's my service? How do I make that work for me? As that service thread weaves, it will attract in all those circumstances. And anyone who has followed along with the phase two rainbow bridge work properly has never been able to dispute that. So when the work's done properly and that service thread comes in, it does exactly what it says on the tin. And it really, on a lower level, brings in a proper quality to one's life. Once again, life is never perfect. Nothing will ever make it perfect. But definitely the quality of life that working through the rainbow bridge techniques brings in is definitely noticeable. Everyone that uses the techniques properly would never argue that at all in any way, shape or form. It brings in a quality of life that's, you know, no one would ever give away, no one would ever reverse, and no one would ever not notice. It creates noticeable changes, noticeable changes and noticeable differences in the quality of one's life as someone goes through what is called the rainbow bridge building stages. So while phase two does start to trigger stage three of rainbow bridge building, which signals starting to build to one's triad energy center. It does also help someone build to the monadic energy center and also one's ray path. So if you do want any more information on the Phase 2 Rainbow Bridge Workshop, please do that through my website, www.chloefolan.com. On my website, if you click on my Workshops tab, you will see Rainbow Bridge Phase 2 and you click on that for all information. And of course, because it's my upcoming workshop on November the 3rd, if you go on any of my social media pages, you'll see in very recent posts, all posts and links relating to that particular workshop coming up. So if you do have any queries, please do, free, do feel free to contact me. And if you haven't booked a place, please let me know soon, because at the moment I already have 10 people holding places. And I am going to have to open up the space to probably about 15 people, maybe more, to accommodate demand. But I will have a cap off point for how many people I will take. So to avoid disappointment, please do book in with me soon. On that note, I do have a lady calling in, Janet in California in USA. Janet, can you hear me? Hello. Yes, I can. Sorry. Janet, how, so was I how too loud? 
no, not at all, not at all, Janet, don't worry. How can I help you? What is your query for me, please? Oh, okay. So I am kind of um, uh, at crossroads as far as like where I'm going in my life. I'm 40 years old and I'm sort of like getting really emotional as far as like my place in life, you know? So I don't know if you can speak on life path for me or of course, where of course. Uh, you see me um, going. Absolutely no problem, Janet. Would you like me just to do, because I will tune into you clairvoyantly, but I do utilize the tarot cards as well. Would you like me to just do a general spread on what's happening in your life? Or did okay, you want yes, a please. more direct? No problem. Perfect, Janet. If you would like to think about exactly what you started talking about, what's been happening in your life, what's been causing you to feel emotional, if you just think on that for me. Just why I shuffle yeah. the cards and I'll draw a spread here for you to help answer your query. Janet, definitely you're not as stuck as you might feel. Definitely at the moment. I do believe it won't be until coming into next year that more will actually start to happen. But definitely, and keep in mind, we're nearly towards the end of, uh, ne nearly towards the end of October as it is. When, you mm -hmm. come in, when we come into November, which is only roughly about two weeks away, you will start to feel more settled. I do actually think it's more so what's happening or what has happened this month that has you thrown a bit more than there is actually anything wrong. So definitely by the time we enter into November, you will feel like rather than being at the crossroads, you will feel more like you're actually being given an opportunity for a fresh start. So you are going to perceive this differently by the time oh, we come into November. So definitely do start to see this is more an opportunity for a fresh start than thinking that there's anything very wrong. But definitely it won't be until we've got November, December, January, February. It's in February 2020 that then you really start to do more around creating the fresh start that you actually want. So it won't be until February that you will feel intuitively that it's right for you to really start into creating and initiating the fresh start that you do want. And it will involve work. It will involve money. It will involve redirecting things for yourself. And you definitely will be doing that over February. March and April of next year, and then coming into May, all of the hard uh -huh. work pays off. So definitely by May 2020, you will be definitely feeling much better about yourself. You'll be feeling like life is working out, life is moving in the right direction, social life's going well, work life's going well, reasons to celebrate, just a really, really, really happy May. But coming back to February and then what you'll be doing with yourself beforehand, mm -hmm. like that, see it as a fresh start. There really does need to be a bit of a perception change here where see it as, right, I've got some time and an opportunity here to do something different. What do I want? You know, to really go, what would I like? How would I like my life to be? I've got this opportunity in this time and space to make some changes, what would I like to do with that opportunity? Because I do believe, and I'm just looking into the cards and tuning into you clairvoyantly here for some more information on this. There is two directions that you could go in where definitely, I'll say it again, it does involve work. It definitely does. Mm -hmm. But definitely you could go down the route here of, well, let me see. Uh, so, 
like, and you see me choosing a higher purpose or something? Definitely. I mean, that's what my goal is. Sorry, say again, Jennifer. I didn't catch that last part. Uh, do you see me uh, going the higher purpose route? Yes, definitely in terms of not so much a higher purpose, but just giving yourself permission to go down a route that you haven't had a lot of time yet to invest in or investigate or look into and something that mm -hmm. you that really has kept being put on the back burner. So yeah. definitely, my, my goodness, what you've put on the back burner, start making time for that. But I don't believe you'll really start getting stuck into it until February 2020. I would utilize between November and before February to really sit down and go, right, what do I want to do? How do I want to do it? What do I want to invest my money in? What do I want to invest my time in? What do I need to change in my life to make space for this? So definitely look into that more in February. And it's not so much a higher calling. It's just giving yourself permission to look at an area and to look at work uh, in ways that you haven't had time to before, in a way that you haven't given yourself permission to before. So definitely look into that and start into that more deliberately in February 2020. But I just want to stress, Janet, that I'm not seeing anything wrong. I'm not seeing any obstacles. I'm not seeing any blocks. It's just oh, wow. viewing this as an opportunity for a fresh start. And all that's needed is some thinking on how you want that fresh start to look. There is no, uh, there's nothing horrible coming your way. There's nothing that's going to block your path. It's just about making that time and making those plans over how you're going to do this. And definitely, this is why I was pausing, because tuning into you clairvoyantly, you've got a very green soul ray and a very green triad ray. And people who have what I call green middles, that's what I call having a green middle. Even though you're still building to your soul star, it doesn't take away from the fact that the soul star and the triad are green. And people that have green middles like that, as I call it, either can go uh -huh. down the route of business, finance, um, that type of arena into uh, media and marketing, or they can go down the route of exactly what I'm doing here now. They can go down the route of healing work. They can go down the route of it's one or the other. It will always be one or the other. It'll either be wow. going down the route of holistic esoteric healing work or it veers off in a direction where it's more business, finance, uh, working in the business sector, that type of thing. So it always goes one of two ways. So if you decide, oh, wow. no, I want, I want to work more in law, business, finance, media and marketing, that type of arena, or like that even uh, looking into a little bit of um, something that in well, finance does involve accounting to a certain degree. But if you wanted to look into that arena, that would be a very realistic arena to look at. Or if you were like, no, I want to swing in the other direction, I would like to look at doing... Wow, this is really Reiki specific. In, I really appreciate that. Or it could go down the other route where you could go, no, I want to look into Reiki, integrated energy therapy. I want to uh, do quantum touch. I want, in other words, picking a healing modality, holistic healing modality and training in that holistic healing modality or reading modality. So you'll go one of two ways and neither way is right nor wrong for you, Janet. When you've got a green middle like that, the choice is yours. You can either choose to go down business, finance, law route, or you can choose to go down more of a holistic healing route, one or the other. Choice is yours. So ponder on that over the next few months. And then with the choice you make, start initiating and making that choice happen in February 2020. And it will all go smooth from there. Oh, okay. You said mentioned reading modality. Do you mean like reading cards or reading? Yes, exactly. Yes. So studying, reading the tarot or studying, there's other forms of divination as well. So like that, any form of a uh, intuitive 
reading modality, whether it's tarot, whether it's astrology, uh, whether it's ruin reading, there's many forms of divination that are all valid. It just comes down to where do you decide to put your talents into, but it will be one of the, one or the other, Janet. So really think about whether you want to invest your time, money and talents into going more down the, the business, law, economic route, or whether you want to go down the holistic healing route. Wow. Okay. That's very specific. That's I big, really appreciate that. That's the biggest choice here. So there's no block. There's no obstacle. It's just about making a choice which direction you want to go in and then looking at making that happen in February 2020 and start looking into that more seriously in February 2020. Okay. And you said law. Is that what I heard? Law? Yes, law. So either oh. law, economics, uh, media and marketing that route so i'll say that again you can either go down the route of law business or finance which still does cover media and marketing or you can look at going down the route of exactly what i'm doing with you right now going down the route of exploring a reading modality a healing modality so like that reiki integrated energy therapy quantum touch or studying astrology, or studying the tarot. So one of those two directions. Wonderful. I really appreciate your time. You're very welcome, Janet. You're very welcome. I'm glad I could help. Janet, have a beautiful evening and enjoy pondering on what choice is right for you. Certainly. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Take care. Linda in Tennessee. Linda, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Linda, how can I help you? What is your reading query for me, please? Um, I would like to know about my husband. Okay, Linda, could you be a little more, could you give me a little more inf information about that? please, about when you're asking about your husband, in what context, please? Uh, well, he has stage four throat cancer and fixing to go into treatment for that. Okay, okay. And I basically, so it, it, I would like to know the outcome. Okay, a health query for your husband. No problem, Linda, two moments. Let me, uh, so it's a health Query that you have for your husband looking into his current health? Yes. No problem, Linda. Give me a few moments to tune in clairvoyantly and I will draw some tarot cards on your query as well over your husband's current health. Two moments, please. Now, Linda, I'm always very sensitive when I'm asked about serious health cases. So definitely he has found the right treatment. So first off, even tuning in clairvoyantly, and it's been reflected in the tarot card spread that I've done, he does need to keep up with the treatment plan he's been following because that is the best treatment plan for him. And this treatment plan won't be quick as in this is a definitely a staggered treatment that he will be receiving. So definitely it's very difficult because my goodness, my heart goes out to you that this is not pleasant for you or him to be going through. Uh, so definitely my heart does go out to you both. But this is the Thank correct you. form of treatment. This is the treatment he needs. So if I can at least put both of your minds at rest, that he has found the right treatment and that this is the best treatment for him to be receiving and he needs to stick with his treatment plan. He needs to take all of the follow-up treatments 
He needs to keep up with his consultations and any other advice that he's given. So this is the best form of treatment and that is being reflected in the cards that I've drawn. But like that, it's not going to be a quick treatment. So even though, my goodness, you would have already both been through a lot with this being stage four throat cancer, definitely this does need some patience because it yeah. the treatment is the best for him but it's not going to yield immediate results. This needs to be kept up with for at least four months to really start to see some results from this. So all I'm saying is it's not that he'll receive, you know, uh, two rounds of treatment and automatically it'll be, yeah, no, he's okay, it's fine. He will need continued treatment. So he needs to continue right. with this treatment Little things will happen along the way to show that this treatment is helping. But what I'm trying to say is it won't just be an automatic response with how he takes to treatment. It will take a couple of weeks, a couple of months. So this, what I'm trying to say is this is going to be a slow, gentle recovery. It's going to happen in small stages. Small things will happen right. with this checkups that will validate that it is having some effect. They wouldn't keep up doing the treatment for as long as I'm seeing it if it wasn't helping, if you get what I'm saying. So like right. that. But you, you do see you want, a, re a recovery. I do see this helping and doing something for his health where it does start to help. It is going to start yielding results with helping him return to health. I'm not seeing with the cards that I've drawn that it, it'll be a case where they'll get him to the point where he will be in the all clear, but definitely improving. So I want to be clear about that as well. He will get validation that he is improving, but he is going to have to keep up with treatment. I'm not right. being shown by the cards when this goes into remission, so I'm not going to use that word because I'm not being shown remission with the cards that I've drawn. I'm being shown slow improvement, where improvement does occur, but it's slow, and it, but it still keeps happening. I'm being shown slow, continued improvement, but not it going into a uh, remission yet, if you get what I'm saying. Okay. It will, he'll yeah. at least reach a point where he's better and at least not getting worse. So they'll definitely be able to slow it down. They'll be able to, you know, just, it will help what I, the treatment he's getting will help is what I'm trying to say. But it's going to be a while before it would be a case of you know, he will get better. That's where I feel happy leaving this by saying that he will get better, but I'm not seeing remission.